look so hungry. Here, take this. Children, this is going to be a sandwich on rye. Bless you, lassie. Don't mind if I do. Children, it tastes fresh, too. Mmm. I know I always feel a little better after I've had something to eat. There's no denying that, miss. Now, what was it you were wanting to ask me? How conversant are you in the intricacies of Egyptology? Missy, I don't even know what you're asking about. What can you tell me about the burglary at the Lion Decker Museum? I'm not covering that case, miss. Why not ask Detective O'Reilly about it? He's the one you should be talking to. What does 1926 mean to you? A cut in the department's budget and another year of haggis and blood pudding. No one's just sorry you asked. Ah, well, I wouldn't be knowing anything about that. What do you know about press passes? Ah, the bane of my existence, letting the snooping reporters in where they're not wanted. What do you know about notebooks? They're very handy for taking notes, lass. What can you tell me about the speakeasy? No, I don't know anything about a speakeasy. Not in this town. We run a clean city here. But there are some nice places where a lady like yourself can sit and relax and enjoy a bit of the high life, if you know what I'm saying. Of course, some of these places are restricted, don't you know? So you'll have to be giving them the right signs so they know they're okay. But just mention a Charleston, and you're in like Flynn. You got that now? I think so. Thank you kindly, Sergeant. Don't mention it. And I mean it now. Don't you go mentioning it. Not to anyone. What should I know about New York? I've only just moved here. Best advice I can offer you, miss, is to keep some money in your shoe at all times. You never know when you might need some emergency cash. What do you know about the Lion Decker Museum? A very fine establishment. Worthwhile seeing, even if you're only in town for a short while. Very educational. Have you actually been there? Well... But I live in the city, and I'm not having to see all the landmarks. What should I know about the 12th Street Docks? Oh, lovely place if you like rats, thieves, and roughnecks. If I were you, I'd be staying away from that area. Lord knows we do. Have you ever been to Low Fats Chinese Laundry? Not me, miss, but I'll be happy to ask me bunny wife for you. That won't be necessary. I was just asking. What can you tell me about this police station? 14th Precinct, miss, and a darn fine precinct she is, too. Are you familiar with the New York Daily Register News Tribune building? Yes, ma'am. And a fine upstanding building it is, too. Is there any information you can give me about Sam Augustini, editor of the New York Daily Register News Tribune? Hoot, man! He's a good law-abiding citizen! What do you have on a Pippin Carter? I've never heard of the fella. What do you know of an Archibald Carrington III? Can't say as I've heard of the man, miss.
Detective O'Reilly seemed very rude. Is there any way I could talk with him again when he's in a better mood? Ah, well, and here I thought he was in such a good mood today. He's a very busy fella. If only you'd talk to him once today, I doubt he'd be talking to you again. Do you have any record of a crowd fall of tea, Rhubarb? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Go on with you. You're pulling my leg on that one. There's no such man, is there now? I'm serious. Well, I've seriously never heard of the man. What can you tell me about low fat? Well, it usually doesn't taste as good as the fattening stuff. I'm referring to a person. Oh, well, then I'm afraid I can't give you any information, miss, as I've not heard of the filler. What can you tell me about John Bow? Not much, I'm afraid. I know a lot of men named John Doe, but offhand nobody named John Bow. I'm looking for information about a man named Ziggy. What would a lass like yourself be wanting with scum like that? Never you mind why. I'm just looking for information about him. I suppose it's no big secret. Not around here, anyways. Ziggy's is a first-class little rat fink. Couldn't cut it as a crook on his own. Now he has to go around spoiling it for the rest of them. Nasty little big mouth. Though he does seem to hear an awful lot. If you're looking for him, he's the kind of man what hangs around in speakeasies. Not that we have any New York City, mind you. We've got these places closed up good and tight. Are you acquainted with Dr. Olympia Miklos? Dr. Miklos? You mean Dr. Olympia Miklos? Greek woman, dark hair? Yes, yes, that's the one. Never heard of her, miss. Sorry, I couldn't help but put your leg a bit there. What can you tell me about Yvette Delacroix? Now you keep away from Yvette. I haven't seen the girl in ages, and I don't plan to see it again, so you just let sleeping dogs lie. What do you know about Wolf Heimlich? Doesn't sound familiar to me, miss. Is there anything you can tell me about Steve Dorian? Sorry. This be the first time I've even heard the man's name. Do you know the Countess Lavinia Waldorf Carlton? She's a very well-to-do lady and one of our finest upstanding citizens. Never had a chance to meet her, personally understand. We're closed. No deliveries. Secret word. The password is Charleston. Well, why didn't you say so? Come on in. <laughs> 